Are we? Are we on? We're on. So how was your day going? <laughs> hectic. Ah, <coughs> uh, very hectic. hectic. Um, but it's a good conversation. It's a good. Well, see my mess here. Oh, you're uh, you're good. Um, but yeah, it's good. Um, you know, running around. I just showed you my just showed you my uh my schedule, Grandma. We gotta. Not now. I had my medication a little while ago, Fine. so I have to wait. I'll have mine. Yeah, have yours. Because this what is this Christmas. is a celebration. This is the last episode of Missing the Homies. Welcome back to Missing the Homies. This is the show where I have my friends and my loved ones, and we spend an hour a week. And you're a very special grandma that. Uh, Who? Your only grandma that you have. No. Yeah. Anyway, the one that's here. Um, and. Uh, this is oh shit. I think he didn't mean that. It, that you can black that out. That word that he said. <laughs> <laughs> but he just got upset because he spilled something. But anyways, anyways, this is the second year that you're closing out. Um, yes, it is the show. Yes, and, it is. Oh God, I'm I'm very honored to be a part everywhere. of this. Um, uh, program or whatever you want to call it. Cheers um, to Grandma. Cheers, cheers, cheers to, to you. the show. Uh, we're going to run Merry the intro Christmas. and then we'll get into the show. Merry Christmas, everyone. Sorry, I can't have a beer now, but later. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll put in a clip. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'll put in a clip after. Okay. Of our, is this new? Of our first beer together. Um, let me drop this. Um, I don't think they are. Okay. There was something I wanted to, to talk about. Um, Bring it on. That we... Uh, this is your time, too. We... Uh, no, when I was I was talking to you, and we, we said something about... Um, we wanted to talk about pictures, but it, I thought, no, maybe, <laughs> maybe not so much... Um, maybe we should talk about something else, but this is what I... This is the one thing that I wanted to show you. To count up? Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I, actually, I was going to put it in a card for Renee. <laughs> oh, my God. You totally should. <laughs> That's my swim picture. You should because she's, she's not going to watch this. And, okay. and this isn't going to come out uh, until after Christmas. Oh, okay. Well, I will. I got a Christmas card there. It's I'll so just funny. stick it in there and, and say, look at your honey, you know. But oh my um, gosh. Anyway, did you ever come to any of my swim meets? No, I never did. They're so I boring. Never did, no, you know? I I did go to Michael's a couple of them, but your mom never told me the times. And Michael was friendly with me then. Yeah, and he and asked me to go, and I did go. Well, the the swim meets that I went. Well, I think I only went to one or two of Michael's, but when I went was when he just joined the team, so he wasn't really swimming. Like, he was in a couple of events, yeah, yeah. and oh my god, I forgot how boring swim meets are if you're not on the team. If you're on the deck, then and you have okay. your whole team and everybody yeah, there, yeah. and like, yeah. um, talking to all the other teams, yeah. that's so much fun. Swim yeah. meet days were the craziest I saw days. that. I saw him talking to his buddies, and this one, he had the blonde hair, remember? Yeah, he when blonde he hair. dyed it. It was yeah. so funny, you know, and I said... Why did you do that? It was a it was a dare thing or something. So, but anyway, so it's a, it's a it's a team bonding thing, team bonding thing. Okay. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, that, That's what they do then. But you know, it was from what I understood when I was in high school, only the good teams did it. So we didn't um, do it because our team wasn't good enough. I see. <clears throat> um, but Woodhaven was a Woodhaven was a good team. Mm. Wyandotte was always a good team. Um, well, you were Woodhaven. I I didn't swim for. Oh, no, Woodhaven. that you were. Mon I swam for Mon Carmel. For Cabrini. Okay. Mount Carmel. All right. <laughs> Mount Carmel. Mount um, Carmel was Carl. That's when Carl went to school. Did my um, mom go to Mount the, Carmel too? Did all of them go to Mount Carmel? Carl and Andrew. Carl and Andrew, not Bob and Gilbert. Where'd they and go? And Terry. E course. They didn't go. Uh, they went to E course High, and then Terry went to uh, in Gibraltar. Oh. Uh, you can you hear me okay? Oh, I mean, I, I don't have the headphones on. Oh, so okay. I hope so. Uh, anyway, um, Terry went to Gib Gibraltar. Gibraltar can't say the word. Gibraltar. And uh, 
I want to. Then she didn't like Mount Carmel, so I had to take her out. Uh, I had a lot of problems with Terry because, um, not her fault. Yeah. Uh, we moved from E Course, and I put her in uh, Mount Carmel. Mm-hmm. Where was and Mount they Carmel? Would, I don't even know where Mount Carmel. Winded. Oh. And I guess I didn't know. The, I think that I think the teachers, the nuns, were kind of prejudiced. You know, were were very. They were kind of mean. Yeah. You know. Kinda. Yeah. I've and, only heard horror stories. Yeah. I haven't heard. I literally have. In my life, I've yeah. never heard one good story. The, I, I think I, I started teacher. to say because I've been Catholic all my life, and I thought nuns were supposed to be uh, kind persons, but they're not, or at least these weren't. I did. When I went to school did in a nuns? Catholic school, I had some beautiful teachers. There were nuns. I remember my um, superior uh Nun that was the head, the head of the, the was uh, she was alpha the, nun. She was so so nice that I even wanted to be a nun. Really? Because of, of her. But uh, you like to party too much. Mother, yeah. <laughs> later on, I found. Later on, I found. There's a lot of things that I did. I tell you, there's a lot of things I wanted to do when I was no, young. No, tell me. Run them down. Okay. What did you want? What was the first thing you wanted? When to do? I was about maybe ten, twelve. I wanted to be a nun because I knew no. uh, Mother Mary was one of the best persons I met at the time. Mm-hmm. There was a couple that, that were not note. very nice. It was a mother, yeah, Mother Miss Superior. Then after I came here or uh, grew up, I wanted to work for Great Lakes. Oh, yeah, you told me and that. And they, nobody wanted me. Then I wanted to go in the service. Oh. And they wouldn't let me either. What did you want to do in the service? I didn't care. I wanted maybe like a nurse or something, you know, be, uh-huh. because at that time I remember there were, uh, it was a time of the were hiring women, you know, and I think it was it was mostly for nurses. Or, mm-hmm. So I wanted to do that, and my uncles and my family talked me out of it. And then, mm-hmm. I, and then I wanted to travel, but never got to it. Um, be a flight attendant? Or uh, just yeah, travel? yeah, it just travel. Where did I just you want to see the most? Uh, Really nowhere, everywhere, really. No, I didn't have any special, any special in country. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when I started going to Mexico, I really liked Mexico. I wanted to go. And I tell everybody, I think in my other life, I, I might have been born in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Because everything, music, food, everything, to me, it's the best. Um, and then after I got married and I had my kids... Um, I didn't graduate before, so I decided to go back to school. Yeah. And I graduated in 1975, I think. I don't know that I knew that. Maybe I, yeah. maybe it was, I was already married. Terry was already born. I went back to school, and I took all the classes because I had quit in uh, the 10th, 11th grade. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I went back, and I, I finished. Uh, I was going to take my GED and the counselor... Uh, advised me to just go back to school, and mm-hmm. I did. I went back to school, and I graduated with my niece, Alex, which she wasn't very happy because I was an old lady and graduating with her. I went through the whole thing, you know, the commencements and everything. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was really fun. You oh, know? my gosh. What, was, what was your favorite class when you went back? Um, <clears throat> you're not going to believe it. It was biology. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. I was never good in math or anything, but biology was one of my best classes. You huh. know? I didn't. I didn't like. I was. <coughs> I don't si- know why. <laughs> science was not my. Yeah, it's funny because. Str- it's, so, it's funny uh, enough, science was not my strong suit, uh, uh, and now Renee is a scientist. Like she likes her, that. Yeah. Her like, what she does. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. like, considered a scientist. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so cool. It is, really. Uh, what is it, like nursing? <gasps> By the way. Oh, she's going. To, she's got to put that thing on for me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll bring uh, it. She'll, uh, Did I tell I'll you she's going, she's going back uh, for nursing? She's going to, she's not going to be a doctor anymore. She wants to do nursing. She wants to do mid, midwife. She wants to be a midwife. Oh, she wants to be a midwife. Yeah. Because there's that's, a. That's a new development. New development for the podcast. <laughs> Congratulations, Mija. But I thought she uh, isn't it something like a nurse practitioner, like a doctor. She's so she's going um, next year. She's going to start taking classes to go back to school because she's going to get her master's of nursing. Wow! So, yeah, she's going to. You know what? She's going to get along fine with Mara because Mara is, is Mara a, a nurse? Uh, yeah. She's a nurse. 
Oh, cool. Mara, Mara is about to get her uh, nurse practitioner license, I oh, think. Oh, cool. I yeah. I don't know anything about Mara. Oh, you, you like her. I mean, I'm yeah. excited. She's, yeah. She seems very She's sweet. really, really nice young lady. I, I really like Mara. And I told her the other day, I said, between you and Renee are going to be my doctors and my nurses because um, <laughs> I got to tell you this. It's just kind of funny. Uh, I needed somebody to change my sensor. Yeah. So I didn't know who. And Renee wasn't around, and Mara's too far. So I called Lisa Salinas. Yeah. And Lisa Salinas know nothing about nursing. I, so yeah. she gets on the phone with Rocky, because Rocky is my other niece. Oh, my God. That has yeah, a, how's Rocky doing? <laughs> Rocky's funny, too. She's diabetic, and she's got that sensor. Uh -huh. So she gets with Rocky on the phone. I'm sitting here, and she, they're talking, like, what do I do? You know, what's the next thing to do? So she pushes this darn thing on and she start bleeding Ooh. and she tells rocky am i doing something wrong i says i said you'll never you'll never be my nurse again <laughs> <laughs> i said it's, you can't stop the bleeding now what did i do she got all scared you know and and the fine it stopped yeah i said you probably hit a vein or something and oh that's what's going on grandma that <laughs> makes that makes my stomach <laughs> turn because i'm just thinking about how i cut my finger did i ever tell you how bad i cut mm -hmm. my finger and you told me you cut it but i didn't I know how bad it, it was bad <gasps> i cut it with with a bread knife i, I was cutting a bagel Oh, I can't uh, even talk about it, but it was the most blood I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, my And I goodness. was sitting there, and... A bagel. <laughs> I was cutting up. Yeah, bagel did me in. <laughs> so I took... And I was home by myself. Mm -hmm. Renee was at work. Uh, um, and so... Uh, or she might have been teaching. She was, she was, she was not at home. Uh, um, and so I cut it, and immediately, as soon as I cut it, I felt it. I was like, oh, okay. And I just uh, grabbed a bunch of paper towel, and I wrapped it up. And uh, I was holding it. And I was like, okay. I've cut myself plenty of times. I know I just got to hold it for a while and it'll stop. So I held it for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And then I took the tissue, I took the tissue off and just <gasps> pouring blood. So I did it again. And I was like, okay, maybe I just didn't hold it long enough. So I held it for an hour and then I took it off blood again so wow. i wrapped it up one last time and i called renee because i was starting to get like woozy yeah so i i texted renee i said um emergency <laughs> <laughs> too much blood can you come home and she called me and she's like okay i'm leaving now um give me a minute and so she came home and she wrapped it up right and then she and then i had to sit like this with my with my with the cut above my heart uh -huh. so the blood uh would Sl would, would bleeding that it much from a finger it huh? was so much and now and like finally i have full full feeling in my finger again uh -huh. but for like maybe two three weeks no stitches I, so i went and had andrew rebecca's husband look at it uh-huh um, oh he's a nurse too he's a nurse and um so i cut it and then i think maybe a couple of days later we came to michigan and he's like because at that point because we we don't have like the proper medical stuff at home like, mm -hmm. we don't have the right medical supplies yeah. so i just had a big wad of tissue it's funny up. you say that because they had uh, first aid kits at walmart yeah i know get up everything I, I need to get uh first but, aid but kit. andrew had so when we when we get to their house andrew's like what's up with your finger and you and i look at it <laughs> and it looked like et like, it was like <laughs> that big and uh by the it, way et tonight it, eight o'clock nine oh is it yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so he uh he's like give me a second and he went and he got his backpack and he like opened it up and he had like hospital supplies yeah and he wrapped it up nice and it was all it was all good but it was so, so no stitches you didn't no, have to but he told me he's like you probably could have used stitches but it's all good it's all healed up yeah I as long as you can scar. use it do you know that my mom lost her finger like that not like that my mother was a, she used to like to sew mm -hmm. And she was running the uh, sewing machine, mm -hmm. and the needle went right through her fing this finger here, I think. Oh. And she lost it. She lost the the tip, the nail. Uh, you know, there's a little bone that holds our uh, our nails up. There's a little tiny. I probably get fired from them. What what it's called? Yeah. But she lost that. So when she would. Uh, when she would uh, it show it, it the knee, the nail grew right into the into the first part of the finger. She would have to cut that 
just with a needle. It went right through God. through her bone, you know. But uh, I'm Ew. surprised you didn't. Uh, you know, you could have done worse. It was it was real. It was really bad. Like thank God really? I didn't. Wow. It was so. St- now yeah. now when <laughs> now whenever I'm at home. I refuse to cut bagels now. And you know, <laughs> I, it was all because I was trying to save money and I didn't want to go to the bagel shop that was down the street. Because all the time I'm like, oh, if I want an egg, a, a bagel, a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, uh, bagel uh-huh. I'll just go up the street. They make a really good mm-hmm. and it's really quick. It's pretty cheap. Uh-huh. But I was like, um, you know, we have bagels Make-man. at home. I have some bacon in the freezer. <laughs> Let me do it. And I didn't even eat the bagel. I <laughs> bled not all over the bagel. That. Oh my god! I was god. so mad. And so when Renee came home and she, she, it looked like there was a like a murder scene because wow, it was just like, that bad. I left everything. I left everything because I was just wow so nervous. And she opened up the garbage. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Why is there a bloody bagel in here?" I was like, "Don't even, don't even, don't even talk to me." I that doesn't I, really bother her. We're seeing no, blood or stuff like she's that. She's totally cool with, yeah. with all of well, that. I mean, she know. she already worked in the hospital. You see blood. Uh, I used I used to work in OR and I would see blood. You did? I used to clean it up. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. So so, let's get away from the blood bloody finger. Yeah. So you said, uh, oh my god. What I was great, telling you, my great, my great uh, lakes, yeah, my uh, my my dreams, my hopes, none. my yeah. Uh, anyway, so what else after you, you went, know what? I I believe in destiny because uh, I had a lot of plans in my. I believe in, in destiny's uh, child. I, I believe in destiny totally, honestly. I believe that God has a, a plan for you and you're going to go that way. Yeah. You never, I'm sure in in my case, that you never thought you're going to be living in Chicago. Mm. Never, It never crossed your mind when you were nine years old or you know, 10 years funny, old. It's funny, not Chicago specifically, but I knew it was going to be a big city. Oh, I, okay. I knew it. Okay. That's why... Uh, Oh no, the battery died. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Pause. Shit, shit, shit. Um. Okay, wait. It better not we're gonna, die on us today. We're gonna we're gonna take a break for a second so I can come back. Pause. Okay, and we'll be back in just a second. Cut. Properly, I guess. <laughs> well, um, what was I gonna tell you? Uh, um. I was telling you uh, that I that after I got married, oh, and I wanted to continue doing. Oh, wow, it. Is that what we were talking about? You're back in it. Yeah, I was just gonna. All right, we're back with our little after our little holiday hiccup. Um, had to get my had to get a, another bev, and uh, yeah. So I I don't remember. I don't even remember where where we were. I I think I was telling you about the, oh destiny. Mm. I was telling you that destiny, destiny has a lot to do with our life. Destiny and her child. B- because after I got married, I decided I wanted to go back to school. Yes. And your your grandpa wasn't too much of us. He didn't. He didn't like it. He didn't really. It's not that he didn't like it. He just didn't care. I think he was a self um, educated man. Because mm-hmm. I told you, Phil was not because uh, he was your grandpa, but he was very smart. You yeah. Know? He only went to school to the ninth grade, I think. But he mm. would tell you all the presidents or the uh, capitals of the United States, all mm-hmm. the countries. He he could tell you where they're north or west or whatever. You know, I couldn't yeah. even tell you where China is, but he knew. <laughs> <laughs> and he would tell you what president, what number it was, mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I went to school. I didn't know. I still don't know that. Yeah, I but I decided to go back to school, and after Terry was born, I graduated, and then um, I was excited because I was the first one in my family that I graduated. All my other brothers and my sisters never did finish school. I decided to get uh, real estate. I went back, and I started studying to get for, a, a license real in real estate, okay. and I really like real estate. I did a couple of sales. I'm very proud of my sales. I was you know? gonna say because you have that, you have like the whole like. I was, uh, you know what, Mijo? I think when you're sure of yourself, yeah, you know that you're gonna do it. You do it. Yeah. It, but it takes this. Grandma, you believe, are, you're believe, a badass. <laughs> you, <laughs> no, <laughs> me, me and me and uh, <laughs> Tia Lisa talked talked uh, about that, and we have talked about it a couple of times. We we're like, man. Grandma, grandma's such so Dumb. such a badass, <laughs> so cool. Anyways, I think if if you believe in yourself, 
with the help of God, mm-hmm. you can do it. Yeah. You know, but you have to believe in yourself. And and it's just like I was listening the other day to speakers, and they said, you have to love yourself in order to love somebody else. Yeah. If you don't love yourself. And it's not being selfish. It's really being proud of what you are. Yeah. You know, the knowing way God who, made, knowing who you, who you are. are. The, and I think I was, I didn't say I love myself, but I think I knew what I, I wanted to do, you know. And yeah. I was, I wanted to be a salesperson, yeah. and I did. And I would sell. It was, I remember this one situation, and just a short one, that this man was, he was from the South. I call it hillbilly, you know, but he was from the South. <laughs> and he had a house that he was selling. You're from the Italy. South. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He was from Kentucky, I think. Oh, but, okay. I, but anyway, he was, uh, uh, no, I'm not from the hillbilly. I'm a Texan. <laughs> Texas is a country of its own, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, he had a house in Taylor, mm-hmm. and he was selling the house. Yeah. And he called me, you know, called my, my office, and I said, yeah, okay, uh, I'll sell you the house, you know. And he says, uh, I just want to get, uh, I don't know what it was, $10,000 or whatever it was for the house. I said, oh, no, you can get more than that. Mm-hmm. And he says, you're crazy. You think you're going to get that? I said, yes, you can. I know you can. This house is worth more than what you're asking for. Yeah. And he said, uh, yeah, right, because we're trying to get listings, okay? Right, right, I, right. I to your house, and I want I want to sell your house. Oh, Grandma, I'm in the I'm in the housing market now. Are you? That, yeah. Well, did I, t- did I tell you that? Oh, yeah, I did tell you. Uh, we're looking at that you're looking okay but you want to well there's a salesman i'm sure he's trying to do the best he can to sell you the house yeah he's gonna fight shout out jen to our realtor our realtor (laughs) jen (laughs) because he wants to make the commission yeah okay and that's what i wanted to do the more i sell the house for yeah the more commission i was gonna get grandma you you forget i i grew up a salesman too okay except i didn't make commission (laughs) so i tell this guy okay i tell you what let's list it you listen for me with me. We'll sell it. And I guarantee you that we will sell. He mm-hmm. said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and list it. Yeah. I sold the house. Just what I asked for. Nobody they tried to for you how, know, bring how, it down. how much more? I can't remember right now, but it was it was, <laughs> was a it, long was time it, ago. Was it more than ten thousand more than what he was expecting? Oh yes, it was <laughs> a, a lot more than what he was expecting. He wanted he was giving me an amount. But, but I would tell them, too, if, say that you had this house, you know, and I said, well, I want $150,000 for it. And I would tell you, no, you're not going to get $150,000 yeah. because I know my I know my 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 business, yeah. you know. But this man, I, I knew he was going to get more money. And, mijo, he was so happy when he says, it's all gone. He says, you know, you did so well that I want you to buy me. I'm going to buy a house. Yeah, I want to buy a he house. Wanted you to find him a house. Yeah, find a house, and I, now I you sell my house. Now I want you to help me buy a house, and and he says if you can buy me one, you know, well, it was double commission for me too, you know. Yeah, I found him a house in E-Course, and he I says it's an E-Course, and it's not, and he didn't want it very expensive. Yeah, I said it's an E-Course, and and I want you to go, and I would take him to go see. The reason I quit was because your grandfather gave me a choice. Mm. He didn't like it. I had to deal with men, and sometimes they would call me. I had to go and show a house in person with just the guy and I, and your dad didn't, your grandpa didn't like it. And uh, who's that calling? That's just your reminder to okay. change the patch. Oh, Don't yeah. Worry, we'll, we'll, we'll so it, we'll anyway, um, so, so grandpa, I quit. So grandpa made you choose yeah. between? Real estate and marriage. Oh yeah, he that said sucks. because he got so it got so bad. He he didn't make me. I could have made a choice, but I wanted to keep my marriage, you know. Yeah. And I had my five kids already. Yeah. But he and, and, and I understand. I know how you are, but I can understand his point because I had to go out with a man alone and yeah. meeting at an empty house or. Uh, we had to go out to lunch and have, you know, discuss. And he yeah. didn't like this, you know. Yeah. So that's towards still, the end. It still sucks, though, that yeah. you had to. Yeah. Because even you just telling me right now, it sounded like, it sounded like because uh, along with, like, you know, <clears throat> knowing who you are and, like, loving yourself, I feel like there's certain things that once you do it, 
you just know that that you're good at it. Yeah. And I, I feel like everybody yeah. likes doing what yeah. they're good at. Yeah. And so it just sucks to have to give that up. I know. That was one of my dreams that it was cut off for me. Uh, and, and, and But then again, I didn't, I wasn't mad at your, I mean, I quit on my own because I could have continued. I yeah. could have fought it. But he was right. I had five children to deal with. I couldn't plan on a day because on a Sunday, you want to go to Cedar Point, and I have an appointment that I got to show a house, so I can't go with you. You know, he had to go by himself. Yeah. Uh, then there was the danger of me being in a house alone with a man, you know. Yeah, uh, so he, uh, <laughs> toward the end of my business, he would go with me. <laughs> and really? I didn't like that. He would go with me and sit outside, uh, you know, in the car yeah. while I was showing. And this wasn't very business, you know. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, to, have your husband waiting for you. To bring somebody. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I finally, I, I gave it up. So then uh, that was about it. After that, was, I think. After that, was that when you were at the bank? Yes, that was at the time that I told you before I quit my business. I always wanted to work. I've never been a housewife. Yeah. I wanted to work. Yeah. So I started looking for, for a job, you know, and I think I told you, I don't know if I told you before, but uh, me and this other girl, a lot younger than me, beautiful blonde girl, I remember she was a real estate agent. Uh, we went looking for a job, her and I, mm -hmm. and that's when I told you they hired me and they didn't hire her. And mm -hmm. I thought, gee, here I was. I was very heavy. You know, I had gained some weight. I was married with five kids, and she was single, very beautiful girl. And for some reason, they hired me, and they didn't hire her. Mm -hmm. And I ended up being at the bank for 30 years. But um, that's what I mean about destiny, you yeah. know. Why Why me? Why? Yeah. Maybe because I tell everybody. I, in fact, I was telling Amy, at that time, there was a lot of, and you guys haven't experienced that. I did. Prejudice you know, yeah. because you were Mexican, because you had an accent, because yeah. uh, uh, you didn't dress well. There was a lot of that was going on at the time. I don't know the reason why they hired me. Maybe because I was Mexican and the bank you didn't were the have. Diversity hire? Uh, pardon me? You were the diversity mm -hmm. hire? Uh, yes. I mean, they, they uh, maybe it was, they had to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I was a, what they call it a token or whatever they yeah. want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, anyway, that's the old school. That's yeah. What, that's what they that, used to call it. Now yeah. they call it a diversity. Oh, diversity is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But Which that's I don't even know uh, yeah. Name. That's how it is. Yeah. yeah. I really. Uh, I kind of wish. I mean, kind of knew you just what you meant, but uh, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. But anyway, that's what I mean. I mean, I was led through another plan that I, I never thought I was going to work in a bank. Mm -hmm. Never, because I was in real estate. I would, but then um, another thing about me was that I had so many jobs in my life, which is which is so funny because that's where I find myself at now. Yeah, you're searching for what you probably. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure it out now, and yeah. like I was, Renee's little sister was asking me just the other day. She's like, "What's your job now? Where do you work?" She's yeah, because I was telling them at Disney. I was like, "Oh, well, you know, I'm kind of between like." A couple of different jobs right now, mm -hmm. um, like working on my my buddy's uh, short film, <clears throat> doing this. Like this isn't a job, but I yeah. treat it like a job because right. like, I care about it and I yeah. I want it to be good. Um, and then like my actual job, and I just I think it's you know I'm just looking at you and listening to you in my mind. Uh, have you ever thought about being like a radio announcer or I thought about it. I the only thing that uh that I mean I think that's why I do this because I could go and apply to work at a radio station or do that TV station but or I don't really care to talk about like I don't I don't I want to do this this is what I want to talk about I want to talk to the people that I love and and want to spend time with and I want to see what they their like, experiences I, yeah, I want to know about mm. I want to know the people that I love and that I care about I want to know more about them oh I um, see I don't really care to yeah. like read the news or do all of that because I yeah. thought of I thought about it but yeah. this is way more um fulfilling yeah and uh it's it's funny because like I mean I've heard people tell me like 
well, why why do you care about it so much? It's like it's interesting to it, you. It, it's yeah. interesting to me, mm. but like you know, I think it's I don't know. So I think a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, maybe, and I don't even think about it that much. But I think people look at how serious I take this, mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, you're not making any money. You're it's a lot of time. It's a lot of stress because. Mm-hmm. Like you said, like I have to bring all of this stuff, yeah. and then do you find it stressful to prepare? I do a little mm. bit, but I but you enjoy but it. But I yeah. enjoy that little bit of stress yeah. because yeah, uh, to me that's part of the fun. Yeah, like I like like when I was working uh, in TV, I like the the stress of like running around and doing all of that, and I feel satis- I feel more satisfaction with the work I've done. Okay, if it's a little hard. Because, I mean, if you're doing something easy, like right now. I think that's the fun part about it. Yeah, that, you get like, a little, that's, it, it, it makes it, it more, just, it, it's yeah. more worth it to me. Okay. And like, for me, even this, the little stress of like bringing all of this stuff and making sure I have everything and the battery, making sure the battery's not dead and this and this. Right. It's fun because at the end, I'm doing all of that so that we yeah. can just. I, I can learn a little bit more yeah. about yeah. you. And I like, I love it. I uh, I agree with you that I think, you know, things just happen. I um, think eventually you find your, uh, you have to keep on searching. And, and again, uh, you can, but then a lot of it is, and don't don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to be a, a, sound like fanatic about religion or yeah, yeah. that but but I do truly believe that God has a lot to do with our lives you know I I, to- I totally agree because uh, even through this mm-hmm. I I didn't when I started Plan. when I started this show uh-huh. I started this as a way to practice my video skills with my friend Mm-hmm. And I told myself, you know what? We're going to do this for one month. Mm-hmm. That's it. I plan to do this for one month. And, and here now, we are. I'm, I'm gonna, years oh later. Oh, my God. I was about to tear up. <laughs> I'm, I'm tearing up right now. Yeah. But, like, it started yeah. as um, a practice. Like a fun but, time. For, yeah. yeah. I, and it was mm-hmm. me and my me and my friend Demi who mm-hmm. um, who taught me how to, like, shoot and everything. We, we became friends in college. Um it was just a way for us to keep keep sharp on our on our skills, mm-hmm. and uh, because we, I mean, when I was living in Michigan, we would make videos with each other all the time, mm-hmm. and I used that as a way to practice and get better, mm-hmm. and so I could like learn all of the skills. Because, mm-hmm. like you said, I think things just happen, but mm-hmm. you have to work for it. Right, things don't just happen. Things happen when you are like putting some work into it, and this show has changed so much from that now it's this oh. we're sitting here doing this show yeah and it, when it started two years ago we were making videos back and forth mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i was in chicago and he was here yeah. and i could never even imagine that it would have gotten here to this point and yeah. now uh, and even even to where it's at right now i have people in my life who are like so why can't? When am I going to be on the podcast? Yeah. When am I going to be on? When uh, can I? Can I do this month? Can I do that? Yeah. And when I started it, I was begging people. I was yeah. begging people. I was like, "Please, can you do yeah. this? Please, can you do this?" And they're like, yeah. "No, I don't want to spend that much time. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that." And so now to have people, it's like really, they really interested. If I if yeah. I really want, yeah. yeah, I could book all of twenty twenty three. Mm-hmm. I could have it all booked up with. 12, that's great 12 yeah. yeah i love it it's yeah. so fun this is uh, and that's the important part is that you you like what you're doing okay just like um like carl my son carl yeah a I've lot of him. a lot of my family make fun of them that make they and they still do they sometimes your own family doesn't really believe in what you're doing what you are you know yourself but um <laughs> I don't know whether it's this way or this way or this way. Okay, um, uh, but it, now he's he's made a living out of that, you know. But he believed in chiropractic since he was nine, you know. Yeah. 
he went to a chiropractor and he but he really believes in what he's doing yeah. he's made a living all this good and bad you know uh i think that him being so far away from his family his decisions have not been too great either uh like you know, getting together but, with, but, uh, it, but they're his decisions. It, and yeah. I think that's also important. They're his decisions and, and it's God guiding him too, because Kyle wasn't planning on going to Ireland. Mm -hmm. His plan was to go to South America. Yeah, when he first said he wanted to go to South America and he wanted to help the poor people or the people in, and he ends up in Ireland. He never thought he was going to have two kids in Ireland, and he's got them now. You know, that's what's keeping him up there. Mm -hmm. But I think that if you believe in you, no matter how people make fun of you, laugh at you, ignore you, but you know what you want to do, yeah. that's what's important, yeah. to be happy with your own self. Another thing that I wanted to tell you about myself was that I love to sing. Mm -hmm. I used to love to sing. And I wanted to be a singer too. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's Spanish. Yeah. And I made a couple of tapes with some friends. Really? You know. Yeah, but they disappear. I don't oh, know. Gotta, shit. But uh, yeah, that would be so yeah, yeah. Cool. I I oh, I no. made a couple of cassettes with my friend. There was a friend of mine that passed away last yeah. year. She had the um, what do they call the voice? The high voice. Oh, and I, I was and I was the second voice, the you know. Falsetto. Yeah, when you have uh, two people singing, yeah. one has the, the and she uh, she was a high one. Yeah. She sang so nice, and I would follow her with the you know the se my second voice, yeah. you know. So, so question but, for you, and I think this could be a good way to wrap it up because. It's time. We got to hit the road. <laughs> we, dear, dear, uh, dear viewer, dear listener, we got a packed day. It's Christmas Eve, and we got a lot of places to be. We got people to see, but... Not enough time. Yeah, not enough time. Not enough day. time. But what I want to ask you is, you know, you've lived a long life. You've lived... I have lived a long life, yeah. You've lived... So you have so many experiences, so many that we've talked about, so many that we haven't. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I don't I think even if we sat here for three days, we couldn't we couldn't it's get not it all. enough time. Yeah. But if you had the chance to go back and do it all again, would you do it again the same way or would you do it different? Um, do you look back on your life and are you like. Are you are you there's some uh, there's some things that. I would have liked different, but I think in a way, I, yes and no about my life. Would I live it all over again? Um, I think I would have liked it a little different. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say much because. Yeah, I'm just. But it different, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some things in life that it's not up to you. Yeah. You know, it's up to God. And uh, yes, I would have liked things a little bit different, but I'm satisfied with, especially where I am now. Mm -hmm. My mother died very young. She was 62. My dad was 78. Here I lived more than them. I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that I have my great my grandkids that love me. I have my children that in their own way I know they love me. But most of all that God has given me this health that uh, I look around me and I see my a lot of my friends already with very bad illness, some I have lost, mm -hmm. and but I'm still here. I don't know what God's plan is, but I'm happy. At this point, I'm happy. But I'm going to tell you one thing, and I tell all my kids this. Live one day at a time, okay? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Don't worry about tomorrow because might we not might not it. see it. Yeah. And leave the past in the past. Don't hold on to those 
grudges or, or what you did to me 20 years ago or what somebody did to me uh, last night. Yeah. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. Just look for today. Enjoy today. And I I think it, at this point in life, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Live just today. Enjoy today. And if I want to drink, I want to smoke, I want to do anything, I'm going to do it. And I and I think that uh, I'll be happy with that, you know. Um, I want to wish everybody a good Christmas, and I want to wish everybody the best in this coming years to come. Uh, we don't know what's in store for us, but enjoy today, and yeah. especially you. Yeah, I want you to know that I love you very, very much. <laughs> I love my kids. I miss them. But I'm not even upset about it because I think life, that's what life is. Yeah. It, Everybody lives their own. I cannot live your life, you know. Yeah. You you have to go on with yours, you know. That's what I was telling Lisa, Salina Shinneberry. I don't get upset when you guys don't come and see me. Yeah. I, I don't get upset. I miss you, but I don't get upset because I know you got your own life. Grandma, your alarms are crazy. And, and they keep on. You know what this is? That's a message. Oh, is it? messages. Yeah. Oh, oh it's Karina. Yeah. Anyways, I was Good. I was gonna say I I agree with you because you know I feel like everything that has happened has brought me to this point and. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy and so grateful to be sitting here on <laughs> this couch. every minute. Doing we have Jason. And, you know, I I don't know. I don't know a better way to end it than that. But, um, you know, thank you, Grandma. Thank you for doing thank this Thank you this for month. having thank you me. for spending the time. Yeah. Um, thank you for ending out another year of this show. We're coming to the end and of the year, yeah. I wish we had beers to clink, but we're, we'll, we'll clink <laughs> we'll some later. We'll do it another time, but yeah, I thank you for inviting me to this uh, situation here, this oh, spot, well. and I never, here again, I never thought, I told Andrew, I feel like a movie star, I never thought of being in a, in a radio show or something oh, like yeah. that, where you be an interview, and I really appreciate you giving me that time, and, and maybe... You're the only one or that's going to find out a little bit more about me. Well, There's so much to tell, but at least you know a little bit more about me. I wish that you would have had a chance growing up uh, knowing more on my side of the family. Yeah. More I would have get... loved to do this with Grandpa even. Oh, and, that would have been and, nice. And he would have loved know, that. Get to know everybody. And, you know, I feel like <laughs> that's why I want to yeah. do this. That's why I yeah. make it such a priority to have you on it. Yeah. Because, like you said, you're my, yeah. last, gran- you're my, you're my yeah. last grandparent. Yeah. And yeah. I just want to know everything. Yeah. But, anyways, Grandma, I'm going to cut you off before you even have another thought. Because we will sit here and talk till, yep. till the Texans come home. Happy New Year, Mimo. Happy New Year. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. See. God bless you all. Miss and the homies will be back in 2023 with a new guest. And we will end out 2023 yeah. with the same grandma, hopefully. Bye. God willing. Love you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. We're out. Peace. <laughs>